Yeah, I was going to tell you about Wayne Garcia's funeral. You need to email. You need, don't, it, we're broadcasting right now, so don't put anything on. You can email or text me. You can't take it right now? Or... No, we're broadcasting. So good morning. We are so glad that you are here today and that you are uh, able to join us this morning. Um, we are broadcasting on Facebook as well as recording. Um, we're glad to have all the folks that are joining us online. Um, this is uh, uh, the Sunday before, before um, Thanksgiving. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually have a, uh, a Thanksgiving service. And for those of you that are not here, I would invite you to get a candle and to, um, to actually um, light that candle as we uh, begin the service this morning. We do have some announcements. Um, the, the, uh, Hannah is gone um, to Hawaii. So I heard the emails to her are being forwarded to me. Um, I, I do have family coming in, but I will be working from the house as well as checking stuff. So um, I'm available by phone or by email. Um, the, there is nothing uh, on our schedule this week. No, um, no uh, Bible study, no, um, uh, dinner, no, in anything like that. So you have the time to, to come and join us. Um, and hopefully, uh, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully have a wonderful time with family and Thanksgiving. Um, so let us enter into an attitude. Please be in prayer. We have like lots of people with COVID or sick, uh, uh, Linda, is battling shingles. So let's lift them in prayer. And uh, since she's not here, uh, she we don't have a, uh, a prelude as such, but as I turn to that slide, I would ask that you would get into a, um, an attitude of worship.
And as we begin, I'm going to ask you to stand as we do the first hymn, Give Thanks. It's hymn 131. In the midst of difficulty, the Lord sets a table of rejoicing for us. Though the world seems focused on turmoil, yet will we praise God. Our lives should be witnesses to God's goodness and power. Our hearts should encompass compassion and service to God's people. Help us to be your workers and witnesses in today's world, O Lord. Enable us to be faithful and strong for you. Amen. You may be seated. Our next hymn is hymn 694. Give thanks. Uh, we're giving thanks for the harvest. So it's one that you know well. Come, ye thankful people.
That's right. I mean, that's why we give you the hymn number. But the, the, now the slides, look at this. Now we have here. It's like, where did it go? Don't know. Have no clue. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Join me in the opening prayer. Lord of bounty and blessing, we come to you this day in gratitude for all that we have been given. We are grateful for the blessings and for the opportunities to be service to others in your holy name. Bless each of us here that we may become truly blessings to others. For we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. And I know that Hannah went through and double checked everything. So y'all just buckle up, right? <laughs> Our next hymn is giving thanks for the past, the present, and the future. It's a hymn that you know and love. Hymn 140, Great is Thy Faithfulness. Let us join in a prayer of thanksgiving. Bounteous God, you have lavished your finest gifts on each one of us. We thank you for the many ways in which you have blessed our lives. With love, hope, friends, our church, and so many other things that we cherish. Help us to be a blessing for others that they may come to know you and rejoice in your love. Give us hearts of courage and confidence to step out into a world in service, bringing hope where there is doubt, 
peace where there is strife, love where there is discord. These things we pray in the name of Jesus. We now give thanks for God's wonder and beauty, his creation, for the beauty of the earth, hymn 92. Okay. All right, we're doing this one a cappella. <laughs> For the beauty of the earth, for the glory of the skies, for the love which from our birth over and around us lies, Lord of all to thee we raise this our hymn of grateful praise hang on a second i don't know why this is not moving hang on Join me in the prayer of confession. Patient Lord, we are rushing headlong into the holiday season, forgetting that the word holiday is actually comprised of two words, holy and day. Forgive us when we treat the holiday as a task and a burden, when we load ourselves down with tasks that do not enhance this day. Help us to move past the busyness of the day into the attitude of gratitude. We should display for the many wonders and blessings you have poured on us. Forgive us when we grumble and gripe about the work and do not relish the delight in having family and friends together. Remind us that there are those for whom this day holds a little delight and hope. Help us to reach out to them with love, listening to their hearts and trying to meet their needs. 
Cause us to be the people of passion about the love you have given to us and about the joy of serving you by helping others. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Listen to these words of assurance. Though hosts encamp around you, uttering messages of fear and dread, place your trust in God, who lavishly provides for you and who calls you to be beloved. Rejoice, for God is with you and you are forgiven. Amen. Our next, uh, next section is giving thanks to our creator. So all creatures of our God and King, then this may not be as familiar to some of you as it is to others, but it's a wonderful old hymn. It's 62 in the hymn book. And we hope that it works. All creatures of our God in thee, lift up your voice in the sea. So we didn't do that. She didn't take those out. Okay. Um, thankful. A prayer of thanksgiving. Would you please join me in this prayer? Lord, teach me to offer you a heart of thanksgiving and praise in all my daily experiences of life. Teach me to be joyful always, to pray continually, and to give thanks in all my circumstances. I accept them as your will for my life. I long to bring pleasure to your heart daily. Break the power of the enemy in my life. Defeat him through my sacrifice of praise. Change my outlook and my attitude into one of joyful contentment with my present circumstances. I thank you for family and friends. Thank you.
God's handiwork. Anybody online that wants to tell us what you're thankful for? Just unmute. I'm thankful for prayers that have been answered. <clears throat> Amen. The plenty and abundance we have. Amen. The flowers that are blooming in my home. <laughs> the flowers that are blooming in your home. The cactuses that are blooming, right? Isn't it wonderful? They'll keep doing that until Christmas, which is awesome. For this church. For this church. And the people said, Amen. Amen. Let us give thanks for Jesus, the reason we are able to sing. Faith We Sing 2036. signs that we learn for this so the kernels of thanks as we look to colossians colossians 2 verse 6 through 7 using this as our our focus this morning of course we enter a time what's called guided meditation we are thanking God for his love, thanking God for all that he has given us. And so I read now from Colossians 2, verses 6 through 7. So live in Christ Jesus the Lord in the same way that you received him. Be rooted and built up in him. Be established in his faith. And overflow with thanksgiving just as you were taught. The word of God. This is the word of God. The people of God. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Amen. And of course, we cannot forget in the trilogy to give thanks for the Holy Spirit. For it is through the Holy Spirit that we were all drawn to the Lord. Sanctuary, uh, the, the faith we sing for uh, 2164. we begin this walk of gratitude you may be asked to share you may be asked to do some things that perhaps you don't normally do in a church setting but this walk of gratitude we have given and sung praises to our creator to jesus to the holy spirit and may our eyes be opened in this time of gratitude for things that we are grateful for.
things that we are thankful for. And we can truly call ourselves blessed. I woke up this morning and was greeted by the sunrise. simple meal and enjoyed a moment of peace and stillness. I stepped into my vehicle and joined a million others traveling to work today. And I arrived safely. I spent most of the day at my job doing the same familiar tasks that greet me every day. The work that provides for my needs. I took a walk in the park and received a smile from a stranger. I picked up a few groceries. I spoke with my parents. And then I met a friend for coffee. I turned on the radio in my car. I sent a message to someone a thousand miles away. I washed my clothing. I returned home. A very ordinary day. Everything I've experienced today could be considered unremarkable, but they are all profound blessings, the fingerprints of your hand. Help me to grasp the wonder in the small and the simple, to notice the miracles which surround me constantly, to see the beauty in the commonplace and take nothing for granted. Teach me to make gratitude a lifestyle, one which flows into love, rejoicing, and thankfulness. Every moment that I draw breath. Amen. So I'm going to ask you whether you're um, joining us online or here in the in our space sanctuary to take out your phones. And if you don't have your phone, then find a pen because you're going to uh, write down what you're going to do when you get to your phone. I want you to scroll through your contacts and find someone you have not heard from or texted in quite some time. Find their name and send them a thank you. Either a thank you for being your friend, a thank you for how they helped you, a thank you for whatever but send them that text now. You can do it through message if you prefer to do through message, it's fine. After you've done that, I want you to look through your contacts for someone that 
may not know the Lord or may have been distant from the Lord. And I want you to find either scripture that you love or there's Bibles around you. You can find one there, one of encouragement or even one that we have in our, our bulletin or Zoom program and simply send them the scripture. And if you know how to copy and paste, you can do that. <laughs> Just a word of encouragement. Don't ask them how they've been. Don't inquire. Just, okay, that's fine. That's fine. No problem. What scripture did you read? We've read Colossians. Uh, that was two, six, or seven. <laughs> did Thessalonians, which I think is in your, either one of those, or one that you love, for God so loved the world that he gave us only, that's my favorite verse. <laughs> I know it's cheesy, but it's my favorite. I know for some of us, technology is scary. And we're not comfortable with it. But I would just share with you, there are many people, especially young people, who would prefer to communicate through text or through a message or from some silly video or whatever. you're finished, I'd like for you to close your eyes, get in a comfortable position, wherever you're sitting. <coughs> mute your cells, that would be helpful. Thank you. Close your eyes. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Fill in your lungs. 
And slowly let it out through your mouth. Take another deep breath in through your nose and slowly let it out through your mouth. This next big breath, I want you to put anything that is in your mind in that breath as you breathe it in and release it as you breathe it out. So your mind is completely blank. You're just being in God's presence. Now I would like for you to think to one of your happiest childhood memories. Get it pictured in your mind. Who is there, where you are, that feeling. And we're going to walk through that memory. Look around the room or the space. You may be outside. What do you see in your mind? Let the colors flood. Listen to the voices that you hear, the sounds that you hear. Now focus on the smells. <clears throat> What smells do you have? Maybe you ate or tasted something. What are those tastes and flavors that come to your mouth? And as you sit with that memory right now, we already asked that it's happy, so we know you feel happy, but what are some of the other feelings that flood in? Continuing to breathe now, thank God for that memory. Thank God for making you who you are. Thank God for this memory experience. Let it fill your heart. Anytime you are afraid or anxious, go back to that memory and remember God was with you then and God is with you now and God will always be with you. If you choose, you can rub your hands together to create some warmth and cover your eyes and gently blink them open until you are comfortable. Focusing on the Christ candle and the flame. This morning, we're going to look at some of those things that people sent that they were thankful for. Let us join in thanksgiving for them and for these experiences as well.
Give thanks for the good days. When the traffic lights all turn green, when promotions come and bad habits are broken. Give thanks for warm meals and the company of friends. Give thanks for undeniable blessings and clear direction. When the music floods your soul and the worship songs flow without effort. Give thanks for coffee and clothing and hope that the two never mix. Give thanks for the mother who battles daily in prayer, for the father working three jobs, for the brothers and sisters who build blanket forts and read bedtime stories. Give thanks for sons and daughters and all our family who remind us of what truly matters. Give thanks for the stranger who holds the door open and the lifelong friend who holds you when life is broken. Give thanks for the hard days, for the phone call that brings life crashing down, for jobs lost and friendships fallen into conflict. Give thanks for the anger that reminds us we are human and the tears that express more than words can ever fathom. Give thanks, though the pain is overwhelming, your energy spent, your spirit fallen, and your only option is to fall to your knees before your Holy Father and cry out, God, please help me. For in that moment, his power is made perfect. His love is made evident. He becomes your strength, your comfort, and your salvation. Give thanks for the power of redemption, from Genesis to Revelation, for the endless promises of a God who would rather sacrifice his son than give up on his children. For nail-pierced hands, for brilliant dawns, for the cool touch of rain and the simplicity of a quiet day. For all things great and small, let us give thanks. So let us give thanks for our blessings. You should have an insert that has this music. It's old and it's, for some reason it is not in our hymn book. Your many blessings, welcome. 
come to a time of offering let us give thanks and let us share in the offering that is given to us that song my mother would walk around the house singing all the time so i'm not sure uh who where it came from but i just know it's an old hymn thank you let us stand and sing the doxology, Come Thou Fount. God, we come before you. Our table's grown too much with too much food. So may our gifts feed the hungry. We welcome family into our homes. So may we embrace the lonely. We sleep in warm beds at night. So may we shelter the homeless. We are blessed with more than we need. So may our gifts fill the emptiness of our sisters and brothers in need. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You may be seated. So we give, time, we give thanks for this time of Thanksgiving. And we sing this wonderful hymn, hymn uh, 102, I believe. She, I think she put 120, but I think it's one, uh, 102. Now thank we all our God.
last year, I was able to actually take the lay workers, those on the board, those who had specific assignments out to a wonderful meal at Quincy's. Uh, economy has gotten me as well, so I'm not able to afford that this year. But I do want to thank the people that have taken us through this year. And so I know some of you are online. I can't see everybody that's online. Just know that I will have at the altar um, your thank you when you are able to come to church. Um, and uh, if I have to, if, if you're somewhere where I have to deliver, like Brent, I'll bring it to you. So I'd like to, first of all, um, you know, we have so many ladies that do so much. Um, I do thank them, uh, Linda Mix, and especially Betty Femley, who faithfully has served um, days in and days out. And I'm sorry they're not here that we can't thank them and here in person. And Charlene is like, like a whole nother area away, um, but she still serves and still is with us. And we thank her for her service as our lay leader. And so um, as I call your name, that if, if you're here, um, I would like for you to come forward to receive. This is just a little Thanksgiving light that you can keep and maybe put jelly in after you use it or whatever. Um, we could not do a lot of what we do here if it wasn't for Sue McClure and for Janet. Um, they have served faithfully for so many years and I pray they'll continue to serve. So thank you so much for all that you do. Yeah, you can clap for them. Then, um, Lori, how can I thank you? I just, there's so many ways uh, that you help and you continue to step up and help. And so I offer you this. Thank you. Maybe I'll make more money next year and I can take y'all out for steak again. So, um, and so we'll just keep giving those out, but part of this Thanksgiving is letting those folks know that. So anybody that serves on the, on the board um, that, you know, Roy and Vicki, um, all of those folks that work and serve on the board, we thank them for being willing to give of their time and their gifts to help us do the work of the church. We've been able to complete the table for all grants it has been sent. So it's in God's hands at this point, but it's gonna require everybody stepping up and everybody doing something. And so uh, next year, I hope that we just have twice as many people or more to thank for their work in the church and for for stepping up to take those leadership positions. Many of you work behind the scenes and we appreciate that. And I put a thank you in the, the bulletin this morning because I do thank you for that. But there are those that do are willing to step forward and be leaders and be those voices that make decisions. And, um, and I just can't thank you enough. So I would encourage you this week, if you have cards, um, you can send cards. If you just use your phone, you know, there are plenty of little gifty things as they call them, little pictures that you can find. And just, if you can't come up with the right words, you know, send a little thought of you today, boom. And either a scripture or I, at this time of the year, I just want to thank you for being who you are. Um, we have lots of folks who have not been in our walls for a while. And the ones this morning um, that are, are out because they're sick, you know, Kitty and Lou and, and Dick and Linda and uh, probably Linda Mix as well. And Betty has been sick. Marilyn is sick at the bridge. I um, mean, the list goes on. So let's not forget about them because we're having family and we're enjoying 
our abundance as we've talked about this morning. I hope this has been a special service for you this morning, for you to not only sing those hymns of thanksgiving, but to think of the things that God has given you. And I love the thank you note film that you saw. Had nothing to do with church. You noticed that. It had to do with seeing everything instead of just mundane as being thankful. And that attitude of gratitude will serve us well as we come to the next sermon series, Angels Among Us. And so would you please stand as we have the benediction? Join me, please. Beloved of God, place your whole trust in God's absolute abundant love. Feel the powerful presence of God in your life and know that God's blessings are with you. Go in peace, and may God's peace always be with you. Amen. And as we close with my tribute, I want to thank everybody that's joining us online, whether it's on Facebook or whether it's on Zoom. Thank you for being here this morning. Thank you for worshiping with us, and may you have a blessed Thanksgiving. And for those of you here, my my deepest wish is that you would have a blessed Thanksgiving.